welcome to vlog number two. Um, it's like 2 p.m. and I was supposed to pick up my U-Haul at 12, but that's okay. I didn't actually wake up until, I didn't actually wake up until 12.30 today. So, yeah, I'm dropping Gigi off at my mom's. Right now, we just left Starbucks. Um, Gigi is back there eating his vanilla bean scone. And I got, what did I get today? I got a tall ice, oh my God. I got a tall ice caramel macchiato with soy milk, a blonde shot, upside down with two extra pumps of vanilla and extra caramel drizzle. And then I got my mom just a venti caramel macchiato with an extra shot yeah so we're headed to my mom's house now i'm gonna drop him off and then come back home um so that we can go get the u-haul and start moving stuff it's moving day so we're gonna be moving mostly everything from the old office to the new office now that painting is done um and i've been in there and cleaned so yeah this should be fun i went to target the other day and they had so many like <laughs> they had so many uh like toddler Christmas pajamas out like they had just put them out so I grabbed him like one of each style in his size so yeah today's October 27th so Halloween has not passed yet but he's already wearing his Christmas pajamas and that's okay we love Christmas it's like so hard dropping Gigi off now because he's like in a stage where like he just wants to be up under me like all the time and so when I have to like leave the house um like even if it's just like with his dad or um my sister or leave him with my mom then he just has like these like crying fits like he gets so sad that I have to leave and I feel so bad because I don't want to leave him but I know like I have stuff to do and he's only there for a few hours today so I know he'll be okay it's just like he has like separation anxiety and so do I because he's been like with me since I had him um and we've never tried like daycare and stuff like that. So he's not used to being away from me. After like my first sip of coffee, I immediately, immediately, then my stomach starts to bubble. Probably should have got a water. I have water right here now. And it's like finally fall weather, so if you leave water out in your car, it'll be cold. I really want to show you guys my shirt. I got it from I don't know if you guys well, some of you probably do, but Landon Romano he's like a um, influencer celebrity um, but he has like merch and so I really wanted this crew neck um, that he just added to his site I think it's landonstore.com but I could be wrong um, but I, anyways it's one of his like iconic like um viral like videos um like his saying so
you trying to get some film, huh? Some footage. So empty in here now. We just have to take those out. And that's it. I'm still like renting this space. Like I'm still in a lease for it. So I don't have to have everything like cleaned and moved right now. Um, but yeah. See you guys when we get to the new office. I don't know why I'm full of energy. I didn't go to sleep until after 2 a.m. It's almost 10 right now. I just got Starbucks. Um, I'm going to the office. The new office. I got chai today. I just got it with four extra pumps of chai and soy milk. And then I got bottled water because we didn't have any cold ones at home. And then I got a coffee cake just to like snack on while I'm at my office. Today I have to package orders. This is my first time packaging orders at the new office. So I'm not sure, like I scheduled a pickup for them to come pick up the orders, um, USPS. But since it's my first day here, I'm not sure like what their usual time for pickups is. So I just wanna be there. And then I left my phone number too and told them to call me on arrival. So hopefully they do. But yes, it's freezing out today. Um, so yesterday I didn't get like much footage after we had moved everything into the truck, but Jay and my cousin unloaded everything into the new office and I like started organizing stuff and like rearranging stuff kind of like to see what kind of layout I would want and I think I have it in like a pretty good layout for now um it's not all the way finished so like I'll be giving a mini tour today but still not like the final tour I'll just show you guys like what it's looking like today um Jay and Gigi are at home something in the morning and the grocery parking lot is like packed <laughs> I never knew this many people went grocery shopping at 9 o'clock in the morning on a Thursday I'm gonna park in the front today just because So this is the front, not really much change. I didn't mark the grass wall last night. The back is where everything's at. And first we're gonna go all the way to the back of the building and turn the lights on. This is a storage room, still a hot ass mess, but they came and installed the Wi-Fi in the phone line yesterday. Okay, so this is my little work area. I ordered two more tables, like the steel tables. Um, yeah, and this is not even all my stuff. I still have mixers in my like melter at home. Um, yeah. Then over here, a bunch of products. Um, these aren't all sorted out yet, but I started taking all of these 
um, and putting them on the shelves. Um, these are all products too that are finished in these boxes. More products right here. This is the shelf that I started um, organizing last night. On the right um, are our body butters and on the left are our like specialty products like our stretch mark cream and our turmeric scrub and stuff like that. Then we're gonna pan back over. I got these two large, um, I don't know what they're called. Anyways, I got these from Uline to hold packages while I'm packaging them up. And then right here is our packaging station. I'm gonna get another one of these tables just to um, have more room to package. And then I have my desk right here with my Mac and my printer and all that stuff. So it's manageable right now. I'll show you guys from the front. So. When you walk in through the front, um, past the front room, this is how it looks. So on this side, the bookcases and the storage rack. Back in the back, the production. And then right to your left is the packaging station. today so usually when i'm packaging orders i'll watch either youtube or netflix but since halloween is like three days away i might watch some spooky netflix today i was watching fear street the other day it's so good and i also watched the new megan fox when the blood of a love i also watched the new megan fox movie it's called Till Death, I'm pretty sure. And that was really good too.
worked out eight years ago. Wow, that's archetypes, you know, because now you can see Tyler, the rebel, Riley was the pain, and now Will, the job. And just killing off the members of the breakfast club. The only one left is the Rocky Night Bear girl who was left. Like, oh, the girl's girlfriend, which might make sense with Rachel. Okay, maybe not. But if Francis Taylor is hiding his insights in the classroom as his cover, then it stands to reason that he gave his tools to the same thing. But he didn't want to be so easy to do this in the room. I think it's time to dig a little deeper. real identity. Now we call the sheriff. So why are the two of you looking into him in the first place? Seriously? There's a bloody knife in the bag, but you're concerned about how we found him. Wait, do you think we planted this? I just asked a simple question. We found evidence that he was cyber spying on the whole town, or at least helping you know how to what evidence malware attached to his online homework. And it's okay. Oh, I suppose. That's your dad. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about it.
It's 12.30 at night right now. I'm about to head home, but I filled up one full thing and this much of that one. And so yeah, I'll be back in the morning to get caught up on some more orders. I'll see you guys in the morning. Get in there, but I don't know. Hold on, it's blurry. <laughs> so you gotta sit down now.